It's time for you and I to get major answers to prayer. It is time for us to go beyond the limits of where we have been in our faith walk, in our Christian living. It is time for us to have heaven on earth. And how is that going to take place? It's going to take place as you and I pay attention to what the Lord is showing us by His Spirit in His Word. For example, I noticed this morning in my Bible study that you see the words grace and peace be unto you. This is recorded 17 times in the New Testament. When something is mentioned 17 times in the Bible, you do well to pay attention to it. So, grace and peace be unto you is mentioned in all of Paul's writings, all of Peter's writings, and in John's writings. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, in order for us to be going beyond where we have been in our level of faith, in our opportunities to be the Lord's hands extended, to reach out to the masses of people, to share the glorious gospel with them in the power of His Holy Spirit, we are going to have to take hold of this grace and peace that He has spoken to the reader, to those who read and believe. Now this grace is described in several different ways. I remember as a child in going to Bible uh, school, Sunday school, that grace was described at God, God's riches at Christ's expense. Christ paid, qualified you and I to receive God's riches. Just think about it. God's riches at Christ's expense. Another definition of grace is unmerited favor. Faith, a favor that you did not earn. I really like that as well. I don't know anyone who would not enjoy more favor with God and with people. So look at grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I like the way Peter says it in his two epistles. He says, grace be unto you and peace be multiplied. So Peter had the revelation that grace and peace are God's gifts that can be and should be and should be expected to be multiplied unto us. So, if Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever, why should we not expect for grace and peace to be multiplied unto us today and each and every day that we live? God's riches at Christ's expense. That is, uh, favor that is not earned. It is God's ability to do whatever is necessary to accomplish His good, acceptable, and perfect will for you and, my, and, you and me. So in this month of July 2021, I am expecting for you and I to go beyond, go beyond the limits of our past experience, to extend our faith to believe that indeed, as Ephesians 3.20 says, He is able. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or imagine according to the power that is at work in us. Let us be aware that the power of the Holy Spirit never stops working for us and working through us, especially as we give place, as we give place to the Spirit of God, as we recognize what He is doing 
in us and for us. So grace and peace be multiplied unto every one of us in Christ Jesus. Peace that passes all understanding shall guard our hearts and our minds this month more than ever. Why? Because we are expressing our faith in his ability to multiply his peace upon everything in our life. Grace and peace be unto you so that you are able to do beyond what you imagine was possible. You are able to reach out to your family and friends and share the good news, the best news they will ever hear. You will tell them that Jesus loves them, that he died on the cross so that they would qualify to receive his ability, the ability of God himself to accomplish what ordinarily could never be done. Think of the times when he gave you that grace and peace to do what you did. And I think of 30 years ago when I received the opportunity to go to Bulgaria. The Lord spoke to me one morning and he said, you will go to Bulgaria. That's all he said, but I, he filled me with peace, the peace of knowing that is what was going to happen. And sure enough, because he is God and because he is able to do beyond what I ask or imagine, according to the power that is at work in me, he provided the opportunity, the time, the energy, the money, the places to go. We met with Pastor George Mihailov and the, the church in Lovich, and we met a team of teachers from the United States, most of which were from Seattle, Washington. We had a very good time of teaching together in the Bible school for three years and then we moved on to the next phase of ministry and now almost 30 years later I am remembering that the Lord spoke to me and said that I would go to Bulgaria and so I got to spend the first uh, nine years there uh, before I met my wife Michelle and then uh, we married and we were able to continue the work of the Lord and she has been going to Bulgaria with me and we are seeing the Lord touch the lives of many people in the places where he sends us and that is because of grace and peace I'm encouraging you to believe God we must believe that he is he is the God who speaks grace and peace over us and he is expecting us to do our part our part is to believe that he is generous and compassionate and fully capable of causing his ability, his grace, to minister to all areas of our life, causing us to be able to do what would never otherwise have happened and have the peace that, that goes beyond understanding. I got on that flight to Europe to eventually fly into Sofia, Bulgaria. And he filled me with a peace, a peace of knowing that he would be with me, that he would supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory, that he would make it possible for people to hear the good news through my voice. And sure enough, that's what he did. My life will never be the same because of his grace and his peace, which is working in me. And now, in this month, I am expecting, I am fully expecting that his good, acceptable, and perfect plans be accomplished every single day of my life. I remember what he said in 2 Chronicles 16:9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect toward him. And because of the grace he has given me, I can say my heart is perfect toward him. He has given me a perfect heart, a heart that seeks him each and every morning, a heart that desires to see his will accomplished 100% of the time. He has given me a perfect heart, 
and he gives it to all who believe. He has found us, you and I, who are listening to this broadcast. He has found us. Our hearts are perfect toward him, and he is showing himself strong on our behalf in each area of our life. Bratme Ilian Ilko Bogdate Blagosuvi Pre Izuvilno Posyaku Vreme O Chakwai Ne O Chakvaneto Tres Vyara of Gospel Isus Christos Toi Tidava Nogu Poeche Blagodat in Nogu Poeche Mir Zata Pukazwa Sebise Verin Kam Tebe Posyaku Vreme God bless each and every one of you today. If you'd like, uh, share this video with other people so that they can hear the good news that the Lord is ready to multiply grace and peace toward each and every one of us. Have a blessed day in Him.